Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial here on NoiseJunkies.net. In the Cinema 4D tutorial, we'll take a look at how to create this pretty stylish atom which I created in a couple of minutes here in Cinema 4D. So, we're gonna be using some of the random effectors and the cloner object in MoGraph. And then, after that, it's just easy, easy stuff. So, I'll try to make it quick. We'll go to File, New. And the first thing I want to do is to create the awesome sky color that I had. So, I'll just go to a new material color and I'll choose an image for the texture. <clears throat> a lot of bright spots too. So we're just gonna blur it a lot like we always do. Alright, and we're gonna apply it to the sky by dragging it to the sky. And it should look like this, which is almost what we want. We're gonna blur just a little bit less though, but that's okay. So now we can start actually modeling our atom. And we're going to start from the nucleus up to the outer electron um, shell, let's say. So we're going to create the nucleus here. I'm going to make it a little bit small. And we're going to call it nucleus. And I'm not going to worry about the materials right now. But I'm going to create a torus here. And I want to make it thin, like this. Yet, kind of close to this sphere. I'm gonna make this, this sphere or the nucleus a little bit bigger though. Yeah, like this. And the torus a little bit wider too, like this. Great. So now we're going to MoGraph cloner object. And I'm gonna drag the torus inside the cloner object. So that's what we have it now. And we are going to make it radial. So we have this pretty cool thing over here. And we're gonna animate the single. Actually, you know, before we do that, I'm going to take the torus out of the corner object and I'll just add a simple animation. You know, just a simple rotation animation like this. Okay, so now we're going to drag inside the corner object and you're going to notice it doesn't move. Only the root one. So you're just going to uncheck the fixed clone. That way all the clones are allowed to move. Now they kind of move in the same direction and it's kind of boring. So what we are going to be doing is go to MoGraph, Random Effector, and they'll randomize everything that we want. We're going to select the clone object and drag it to the selection over here. And once we do so, check scale, rotation, and we're going to just apply some random settings to all X, Y, and Z settings in all of them. So you should have something like this now, where things just move around in different ways in different directions and in everything now I'm just gonna make it even more random like let me see okay so now that we have that and you know play around and see what you like best about your atom we're just gonna make another sphere that is going to be much bigger than everything and just play the animation to see if uh, the things don't come out and they do come out a little bit so just make sure uh, just make sure it's bigger enough so nothing comes out of it and now I think we can start worrying about materials so I have the material for the sky ready let's work on the material for the the outer shell first I'm gonna make it it's slightly damn blackberry I'm just gonna make it slightly blue or whatever color you want and then on the transparency I'm going to set it to 9 I'm just kidding I actually love my blackberry 1.6 refraction and that is kinda it will work kinda like a, a lens right it will just amplify whatever it's inside it and even in an exaggerated level so Play around to see the one you like the best. I'm gonna set this to 1.3 maximum and you know, uh, 78%. Still amplifies quite a lot. I'm not a big fan of it. Well, okay, yeah, that kind of looks a little more like the tutorial that they wanna show you. So, good. I also want to set a, a glow to it. I'm gonna set it 200 for the outer strength only though. And now I'm going to create another material for the actual spinning things. I'm going to make it red 
and I'm gonna make it very reflective, like 70, maybe no, maybe, maybe 60, yeah. And I'm gonna add it to the cloner object. Oops. I'm still used to the Auto Cinema 4D version where we just dragged here and it would work. Now for the nucleus, I want to make it, uh, I'm going to color and surface is rust and I'm going to set this to a green tone like this gray I also want to set a glow of 300 I believe that was the settings and 20 reflection you can also add this bump but it's going to make it a little fuzzy also some noise perhaps Let's see what happens and we'll apply it to this to, oh, not to this one, to the nucleus. Yeah. So this is what we come up with, and we have some little issues to deal with. So one thing we're going to do here is to decrease the glow uh, to maybe 80. Oh, uh, not zero. 80. And maybe add some noise here too. It's not gonna have a huge effect, but it'll make it a little bit darker. That's what we want. Also to set it 20% uh, reflective. Now on this one, we also, no, never mind. On the green material, we also want to set the reflection a little bit higher. It's like 40. To make it also, you know, to appear less. Uh, I really can't explain what we're doing in here, but, you know, it's going to make it brighter in the end of the day because it's reflecting a lot of light things. That should do it, yeah. Let's see. Alright, so I think that's much better and the, the noise definitely adds some sort of atmosphere to this electron shell. And you know, really now it's up to you. I would, if you want to animate it, I would consider it. Just click on all of them and grouping. So that way you can, for example, animate it and it would rotate the whole thing around. And because everything inside is actually rotating, it's gonna be pretty cool. Actually, one thing that's not rotating, that should be rotating, is the nucleus. And let, let's rotate it now then. Just rotate it. 120 degrees, I don't know. So now everything is pretty much rotating and should look pretty cool. And the render. So, of course, I don't have the time to render everything, but I definitely encourage you if you're making animation to render it out because you can definitely create some pretty cool 3D atoms. It's not exactly an accurate scientific model of an atom, but style, you know, stylistically speaking, it is. I'm not sure if that's a word, but now it is. So, I'm Rafael, and this is NoiseJunkies.net. Check out the music database we released uh, this week. And I hope you guys enjoyed the cinema for the tutorial, and we'll see each other next time.